All right, here's a quick part two here. So, um, so we're gonna extend the release on this. So basically, you want the 808s to um, to ring out. So now we got them ringing out. Then you want to do one, so they cut each other off. That's really important. You might want to put like a something stanky on the 808s to make it sound better um, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna set the I'm gonna set this up right now while I'm here so always on the tempo always set a uh, I do from uh, 50 to 200 because you, you're probably not going to do more than that for a tempo. Alright, so that's, that's what we're basically getting into right there. Um, so for every drum hit, unfortunately, you're gonna wanna um, set up the set up the release. Um, so yeah, set the release on all of them. All right, so once you got that set up, now we want to add the hi hats. The snares, I'm talking, so ridiculous. So we got these rims, rim side sticks snares. So we don't want any of these alias; those are weak. But uh, as far as these are right here. Um, these are all great. So we're gonna throw all the the snares over there. <clears throat> we got some uh, not responding real quick. All right, now we're responding. So we're gonna go ahead and drop all those over there. Wow, not responding. Not responding. Okay. Let's get a selector going. Alright, still got some hang ups. Not excited about that. Not excited about dead. So that's basically the idea here. So um, that's actually honestly that's most of the program here. The last piece here would be that at some point we're gonna wanna um,
So I think around. So at some point, you're going to want to add something at the top to make. Um, so um, I'm having a hard time saying this. So simply stated is that we want to take a, another synth program. Yeah, matter of fact, we don't got to take another synth. We could take um, the built-in operator. We could also take like a sampler, anything like that. So here we're going to want to add like something more interesting. I really like the mallets. I like mallets, I like pads, I like synth leads. Honestly, let's just say I'll do another operator. Then on the operator, I'll actually I actually change up the 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 ADSR here. Stuff like that. Right, so then here, so check it out. So basically, you can just get the hi hats at the way you like them. Right, so you got that right there. So um, I forgot to add some claps, but essentially, I mean, you kind of know how to do it from if you've seen so far. I mean, I will add that. All right, see ya. All right, so I really like claps, so. We're going to add a bunch of claps here, and uh, we'll end it there with just a bunch of claps. All right, so claps are so important, man. If you don't got claps, you're not even making a beat. So yeah, this was the last one here. We're gonna map it to seven. Yeah. Love you too. I've gotten a lot better at socializing. It was actually a simple issue that I had that it's like hard to believe that that could possibly be the issue that I was experiencing. It's actually quite embarrassing. Well, you gotta learn somehow. So.
The only problem here that I'm experiencing is that I feel like the max has to be increased to like 300 because that's not getting fast enough for me. So. So that's how you do it, man. You can make beats easy just with the hi-hat, the kick, clap, and 808. So that's it. That's pretty much the lesson for today. Um, once you really get into it, you can um, you can start to record parts. Um, I mean, if you really want to get more advanced here, we can do some audio clips. And then we could do the audio from and then you could do two instrument rack and then we could duplicate that a bunch of times all right and then you could uh, arm all of them then then it gets really nice because then you um, let's check this out here all right so that's gonna loop forever right there it's gonna loop forever Right, and then here we do. Actually, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna save this as a preset. So that's one thing you definitely gonna want to do is you want to save a default. That's imperative. <laughs> so from here, you then get to um, put in parts. So I got the highest there. And that's how it works. Ooh, now we're getting into the niceness. Yeah, 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 yeah,
All right, so we got it going. All right, and you just keep going. drag this into there and then this is where I this is now you, we're getting into my secret kind of workflow um, so here um, it actually you don't want to do the simpler you actually want to do the sampler and then you drop this here we can actually turn all those off now kind of nice So then you can loop it. Ooh, that sounds really good reversed. Wow, that sounds good reversed. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to loop it. Um, I'm missing the way the loop works. So from there that you got a huge like opportunity. All 
right? And from here, you could do anything. You could probably even change the speed up. So let's, let's try to change the speed up. Let's see what happens. And this is where I think it gets kind of interesting because um, by changing the speed up, you actually end up as um, you really change the song, and we'll, we'll see once I get it back started. This really changes up the, the beat that you made. And then um, the thing here is you can't actually, like, I don't have it set up that way that you can, um, I should set it up that way so that you can do the MIDI straight to the to the MIDI because then you can actually change the drum hits but we don't have that set up like that there we go Woo. and here we go check this out so let's actually go not beats but let's go repitch pitch on all of them. So, yeah, I could even do it more here, but I'm just, I haven't done it yet, so I'm just, I'm actually not going to do it either. Um, but it would be really cool to add uh, MIDI next to all of the audios, and then put them in a bus, and then this would get really nice. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. 
I'm actually just going to do two audios. a good one there. So you see what I'm doing here? I can just keep adding really nice stuff.
well, I mean, we can just end this video now. This is basically the template for um, making a beat in kind of my style. You get to, uh, you can see, you could just keep switching things up, and it's really uh, just a dynamic template, pretty robust, and um, you know, it's really up to you just to find uh, some tweakiness. Um, last thing I'll add here is that for down here for the operator, you could always switch one of these operators out with let's. You might have a plugin, so like for example, I have. Um, I really don't have that many plugins on my computer for some reason. Um, I do have the Arturius, so um, let's we'll just put the operator, replace it with the Arturia Jupiter for a second. I don't really like the Jupiter that much, just for the sake of the demonstration. I'm just going to show. Um, the operator is nice because it has very low. CPU usage. Once you start to pile on synthesizers, you really start to bog down your CPU. Which, if you're a rich boy, then you know I'm not even talking to you. And stuff like that, you know, and you could just keep going with this. So um, I'm happy to say this is over. Make sure to check out my music theory course, victordrose.com slash courses slash music dash theory dash 101. It'll be in the description. Um, hit me up for you can get in contact with me for software. I can make websites, apps extremely well. I'm probably the best at it in the game. I'm going to go ahead and claim it right now. Best in the game as software mixed with music. Better than Ableton. I'm not better than the Ableton team. I'm just saying that I'm that nice, y'all. So um, feel free to reach out to me. I do remote uh, music lessons, all that good stuff. Peace, y'all.